Hey everyone, welcome to my 33 week update. This week at 33 weeks, baby is the size of a pineapple, which is cute. That's really big, four pounds. The skin is losing its wrinkled and also looking less red and transparent. It also said that the bones in baby's skull aren't fused together so that it can fit through the birth canal. So that's what's new with baby. With me, I have to say this week has been a very rough week for me. I don't know what it is. My anxiety has been at like an all time high. A couple days ago, it seemed like baby maybe switched her position or something because I felt a ton of less movement from her. I'm still feeling movements from her and I don't know if she just had like an off day or two because I felt like hiccups and stuff earlier, but it's like her movements are totally different. I don't feel like the sweeping arms anymore. I hadn't felt hiccups for a couple days. I finally did today. And I haven't been feeling like the jabbing kicks or anything like that. I'm wondering if she's like dropped head down and that's what has caused like the decreased movement and the differing movement. I'm trying not to freak out too much about it. I know I could always like call my doctor if I'm too worried about it, but I'm still feeling her. So I think she just is getting engaged, which is good. Seems a little early to be doing that, but it is good. But yeah, I've just been like really anxious the past couple days. Just like, is she okay? Uh, I don't know, really know where it's coming from. I don't know if it's because I'm just not getting as much sleep at night and so it's like affecting my mental health or something like that. On the topic of sleep, like I said, I've not been getting a lot of sleep. I, it's like this week it changed and I have to get up several times a night to pee and I'm still dealing with pregnancy insomnia here and there. The other day, one of my neighbors like let out their dog at like six in the morning and the dog was just barking. I don't know what the dog was barking at, but it woke me up, could not fall back asleep. So um, just little instances like that where I'm just having a hard time falling back asleep. I have no trouble falling asleep right away when I go first go to bed, but then it's like, and fall back asleep, it's so hard. But I pee at least once, if not twice a night. I cannot sleep through the night anymore, which is obviously affecting my sleep and my mental health, I'm sure. Probably adding to the anxiety of it. Also, I've been experiencing shortness of breath, which I thought I was kind of over that, but this week it's kind of kicked itself up again. I've noticed like if I, lay kind of like slouched back it makes it so that I have a really hard time breathing I don't know why uh, putting pressure on something that my body doesn't like and so it's really hard for me to breathe and I have to change my position and then once I change my position um, I can breathe again and so I feel better but it'll just hit me at random times. I've been running around trying to get everything packed. We leave tomorrow for Florida for a couple day trip. And so I'm trying to pack everything and get all together. I was on my feet a lot. And then I had to go straight from that to pick up my son, my oldest son from preschool, get him back, got lunch, just like all that. And by the time I got it all done, I just felt like I was so out of breath, even though I wasn't doing that much. I think it was just the fact that I was up on my feet constantly doing something for a long amount of time like it just made me winded also my feet have been killing me oh my gosh if i am on my feet for too long they hurt so bad especially my heels i don't know what that's about but it has just been oh my feet have been killing me i'm a little nervous because we're going to go to disney in a couple days while we're in florida and do a whole day at Disney. And if you know Disney, you know that means you just walk and stand in line and you're on your feet the whole day. So I have my comfy shoes that I'm going to wear and hopefully I can get through it. <laughs> if not, I'll just take a lot of sitting breaks 
can, when I can. Yeah, I've definitely noticed that I need to take a lot more breaks lately because if I'm on my feet or doing something for too long, I just am so winded and so tired and I, I have to take a break every so often. My heartburn is getting worse. Definitely have to take Tums every evening. I just took some earlier today because it was just all of a sudden like just super gassy and then getting the heartburn um, symptoms. So thankfully Tums, I take it and it works almost immediately. So I'm very thankful that I have those. I'm definitely gonna have to take those with me to Florida. I need to remind myself to pack some. My belly has been very itchy. I've noticed just this week that it's almost felt like a relief to just kind of pull my shirt up and pull my maternity jeans down and just kind of let my belly hang out. It kind of feels really good when I do that. I don't know why. And so I've been doing that the past couple days and the boys love it because they're like, it's baby sister and they give her hugs and kisses. And my youngest, my two year old, he likes to give stickers to babies. I don't know if you can see it, but I have a little Paw Patrol sticker on my belly because he says it's for baby sister. So, super cute. My back really hasn't been too bad. I still wear the, be the belly band every night. Really haven't gotten any back pain. So I've been just keeping my same kind of routine and feeling really good about that. I've been super thirsty, drinking all the time, which I'm sure adds to my peeing all the time. But yes, I've been drinking a lot. I have noticed a decrease in my appetite I'm definitely less hungry and I eat less, especially for like dinner. Lunch and breakfast is usually the same, but dinner, I definitely notice a decrease in appetite. Still nauseous here and there, but not too bad. It just kind of depends on the day. We are continuing to get prepared for baby girl coming. We're a couple weeks, you know, down to the wire now. So um, the next couple weeks we need to finalize a name pretty important. Um, I'm gonna start packing my hospital bag as soon as we get back from our trip. So that'll be good to have that down and to like pick a going home outfit for baby girl and all that good stuff. We did go this past weekend and bought a minivan, which is awesome. It's a brand new Chrysler Pacifica. I'll input a picture of it here. I'm in love with it. I'm still getting used to driving a way bigger car than my Civic. The kids love it. They love going anywhere in the new car. They fight over who gets to push the button to open and close the doors. But it's much bigger, much more room to fit three kids. So we are happy with it, loving it. So that's checked off the list. I can't remember if I talked about this, but my mom went and bought me a new rocking chair for the nursery. Our old one was falling apart. It's as old as my oldest son, so five years now. And we got it cheap off of Amazon when I first got it. This is like a brand new, super bougie rocking chair from Pottery Barn Kids. My mom spoiled me, early birthday present. And so it is coming on Saturday, so in a couple days. It's actually gonna get here while we're gone in Florida, which is super exciting. So when we come back, I'll have a new rocking chair, so I'll show you guys what it looks like, but I'm very excited about it. We'll just get rid of the old one because it's falling apart. I had my choice between like a glider or a rocking chair, and I picked the glider just because the rocking chair seemed to almost have like too much rocking motion. I like the glider a lot more. So it is coming, I'm very excited. I plan on starting to buy stuff for the nursery and baby girl once we get back from our trip and we start just like making purchases here and there to get ready for that. My mom bought me new uh, Tommy Tippy bottles for the baby to have. Tommy Tippy has been my favorite brand for both of my kids. I'm assuming baby girl will like it as well. I usually introduce bottles pretty early on with my kids just because I like them to be able to take either or. So yeah, all good things. Uh, slowly getting prepared for this baby to come. This week I had my most recent doctor's appointment. So I'll tell you guys how that went. It was super fast, exactly how I thought it was gonna be, but I'll still recap it for you. So I went in, did the urine sample, which is getting super hard to do because I'm huge. I can barely like see my legs to shave them in the shower and they want me to pee in a tiny cup. I, oh, I hate doing it as like, as you get further on, it just gets harder and harder to do. 
but I did that. They took my blood pressure, which I was curious how that was gonna be because I've been having like breathing, just shortness of breath, and then there'll be times where I'll just hardly be doing any physical activity at all and my heartbeat will just start racing for no reason. But my heart rate was fine, it was like 112 over 70 or something. So my heart, my blood pressure is fine. Weight, I've gained four pounds. So on track there, I think total I've gained like 20 pounds so far. That's good, all good things. My doctor came in, asked me how I was doing. Said it's the same, I'm, I'm doing fine. I told her I was over it. <laughs> Uh, she measured me, said I'm measuring right on track, and then did the Doppler, and she found the heartbeat right away. Always happens, and the heartbeat was like 145, so really good. And she said everything looked good. She told me starting from now on, I'll start every two weeks until I hit 36 weeks, and then I will start going weekly. And she told me that at, at 36 weeks, they'll start checking my cervix to see if I'm dilating or not, which seems early to me. I feel like in my previous pregnancies, they waited till 37 weeks, but I could be wrong. can't really remember. Um, I did tell her like, listen, both my other pregnancies, I went past my due date. I really don't want to do that again with baby girl. I'm over it. Like I'm tired of it. So she did tell me that starting at 36 weeks, once they start checking me, that they could start doing membrane sweeps and hopefully that would kind of help move things along. So I'm feeling good and encouraged about that. Definitely feeling like I need to get everything done by the time 36 weeks happens, which is about a month. But I'm hoping that uh, the membrane sweeps will help bring baby girl early and I'm still getting a lot of like Braxton Hicks I get it at least once a day, sometimes multiple times a day. Nothing um, regular, obviously, but just here and there things. So I'm hoping those are have been helping get my body ready as well because I've never felt this many Braxton Hicks with my first two pregnancies. So I'm hoping that difference is like what makes baby come early. I don't know, time will tell but I was feeling encouraged after that appointment. So I felt really good about that. Uh, and then that was basically it. I went and scheduled my next appointment, which will be in two weeks. Um, that'll be another super fast appointment again. Nothing, they're just gonna do the same thing. And then after that, then they'll start checking me. So we are definitely getting to the end. You always know it's like getting real once they're like, okay, you're gonna come every two weeks now. And then you know like, oh, it's getting real now. So I'm very excited about that, but all in all, that appointment went really well. I recently got a cold from the kids. I mean, when you have kids in school, you get colds all the time. So I have been dealing with that. Thankfully, this cold has not been as bad, but it has not been helping like my nose congestion that I've just been having on its own. And then now I've had like more of a runny nose than I'm used to. So I'm just so over the nose issues. I'm still dealing with that, still dealing with like the nose tingling as well, because I can't get, get away from that. I feel like I've talked about basically all my symptoms. Like I, I just feel like I am getting more symptoms the further along I go. So it's encouraging. Hopefully baby continues to move so that I can feel her and hopefully like my anxiousness kind of goes down and I can just kind of stay calm the further along I get, but I don't know. I guess check back next week to see how I'm feeling. But I think that's gonna be it for this vlog. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know if you have any questions down below. I'd love to answer them for you. Make sure to subscribe because stuff's about to get real and baby's gonna come very soon, hopefully. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye guys.